We are about to embark on a journey inside the body, deep into our arteries. Our mission is to find a killer, one whose work can start while its victims are still in early adulthood, and the diseases it causes are the leading cause of illness and death in the United States. This killer is atherosclerosis. Some people may not have heard of atherosclerosis, but the risk factors that contribute to it may be familiar and include obesity, elevated blood pressure, diabetes, a family history of heart disease, high cholesterol, or simply growing older. All affect our arteries. Some things we can change, like stopping smoking or changing what we eat, while others, like our family history or our age, we can't. But we can all take steps to reduce our risk of suffering a heart attack or a stroke by improving the health of our arteries. To understand how we can improve the health of our arteries, we will need to take a closer look. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. We are now in an artery, traveling with red blood cells that carry oxygen to major organs throughout the body. And this is cholesterol. You may have heard about cholesterol, but did you know there are different types? The most important are LDL cholesterol, known as the bad cholesterol, because it can lead to clogged arteries, and HDL cholesterol, called good cholesterol, because it is believed to help remove cholesterol from the body. Generally, our aim is to keep good cholesterol levels high and bad cholesterol levels low. When there is too much bad cholesterol in the blood, this can cause serious problems. When there is damage to the lining of the artery caused by, for example, high blood pressure, LDL cholesterol is more likely to enter the wall of the artery. When LDL or bad cholesterol enters the damaged wall of the artery, it changes and can lead to inflammation. Over time, inflammation in the artery wall creates something known as a plaque. Plaques can start forming at an early age, and over time, this can lead to clogging of the arteries. This can happen in a number of different sites around the body and can get progressively worse over time. This chronic process, known as atherosclerosis, can become life-threatening, depending on whether the plaque is stable or unstable. A stable plaque can continue to grow, slowly reducing blood flow over time by hardening and narrowing the artery, but does not necessarily completely block the flow of blood. But sometimes even a small plaque can become unstable and rupture, exposing its contents. This is much more dangerous than a stable plaque because a clot can quickly form, completely blocking the flow of blood. As stable plaques form and cause narrowing and hardening of the arteries in the legs, the blood flow is restricted sometimes making it painful to walk. Elsewhere in the body, the effects of plaque rupture can be immediate. A blockage in arteries supplying blood to the heart can cause a heart attack. A blockage in arteries supplying blood to the brain can cause a stroke. So what can we do to help maintain healthy arteries? Addressing our risk factors will benefit our general health and the health of our arteries. We can stop smoking, change our diet, exercise more. With the help of your doctor, you can manage other conditions that may affect your arteries. Of course, some things, like your age or your family medical history, you can't change. If you were concerned about atherosclerosis and the health of your arteries, talk to your doctor about having your blood pressure, blood sugar, and levels of good and bad cholesterol checked. If you've seen your doctor and are being treated, continue to follow your doctor's instructions. Us Against Athero, brought to you by AstraZeneca, is a movement to spread national awareness of atherosclerosis and empower people with the knowledge they need to improve the health of their arteries. For more information or to share this program with someone you care about, please visit www.athero.com. Thank you for joining us. 
Please watch your step as you exit the simulator.